Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, hey. hey. I can Welcome just do back the to the channel. Bounce. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> so today I'm here with Talasha. This is my boyfriend's cousin. So my cousin. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay, and we're going to be doing some makeup. We're going to be talking today, and we're just going to give her a little bit of an introduction. She is an amazing black woman who is also an amazing therapist, correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. And um, we need more people like her. So we want to hear a little bit about her journey and what she's doing and how she's helping our community. So, yes. As we do her makeup, obviously, the look is going to be fire. You see, look, I know why you clicked. So we're on that fire. Okay? So we're going to get into the makeup. Um, a licensed professional counselor for the, through the state of Michigan um, yes. and I'm also as of March a certified rehabilitation counselor <laughs> through the state of Michigan a lot of people hear rehabilitation counselor and they automatically think like drugs rehab but no I, I work more with uh, veterans or individuals that have a disability mm. with uh, like going back to work and okay. um, you know just living a more holistic all-around life that you know allows them to be who they want to be, you know, and 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 do what they want to do. Um, thirty six, and I'm just now like trying to learn how to do some makeup. Yes, so I'll be uh, stalking her videos and stuff, and calling my little cousin, her boyfriend. I'm like, hey, when did Deb did Deb just post this? Or how do <laughs> how do I add this? Or how do I do that? I'm like, I can't believe I'm the old cousin now. Ain't no way. Um, so supportive. Growing up in a tight knit family, I feel like kind of led me to this profession because we were always taught, you know, you got to take care of each other. You got to, you know, do service for each other. I grew up in a church, in the Baptist church. Mm -hmm. My grandma was the head of like everything. So I was on the usher board. We was in the choir. We went to mission meeting, all so of that. everything, in other words. Everything. But it, it truly taught me the importance of um, service mm -hmm. and, and what service means. It doesn't mean like, a slave to something but I know I knew early on that my purpose was to serve in, in whatever capacity that is um, I'm also a member of the best sorority in the world Zeta Phi Beta Sorority okay. Incorporated Period. yes thank you um, and so I'm involved I'm involved in that and we do a lot of stuff uh, for Washtenaw County um, I actually work in Wayne County, so I do service out there too. All the way until third grade, I was the only black child, child of color in the whole district. Wow. So that was uh, quite different for me. Um, so I had to learn early on how to cope with that type of stuff. Um, I definitely feel more well-rounded because when I moved to Ann Arbor, Every, there's everybody in Ann Arbor, like mm -hmm. every, like a melting pot. So I met like every race in Ann Arbor. Then when I moved to Belleville, it was back, to me, it was back kind of segregated, like black and white. And then I went to the best HBCU that there is, Southern University and Agricultural and Mechanical College at Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Wow. Home of the human jukebox, the best band in the land, often imitated, never duplicated, baby. Wow. the human jukebox okay yeah. gotta pay homage and that's where i really really honed in on my service skills honed in on you know therapy and honed in on kind of the direction that I've, i'm going in today um i didn't know i was gonna be a therapist i went there with the intention of going to being in an education program then i switched to political science then psychology, then social work, and then it was like, oh, you got to take statistics. I'm like, nah, I want to take, <laughs> take it. Statistics, anyway. So I ended up in rehabilitation counseling and still had to take statistics and advance. So I should have just, you know, I could have. Yeah, yeah. But long story short, I made it through. Um, and then, um, but living down there, that's what I'm saying, it kind of honed in my skills of making friends. I didn't used to have to make friends. I always had my little cousins. Mm -hmm. I always had my big cousins. I was always the more quiet one, but my sister was the outgoing one. So I had friends based off of her. You know what I'm right. saying? Like everybody, I, if I was real tight with you, you was probably related or had already known you for like 10, 20 years. 
it's important for us to to realize that therapy is okay and it's it's so um much more widely uh, available oh yeah right now but even some of the platforms that you know you see broadcasted you still got to have some money so there's still kind of a disconnect mm -hmm. even though it, it, you know as long as you got insurance you can see a therapist but sometimes you know you may need a certain insurance or you may need a, a somebody that has expertise in a certain area but their caseloads are full or whatever so we definitely need more people in the profession so if that's you right <laughs> you know what i'm saying look it up and 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 pray on it meditate you know whatever you do um because it's needed you're needed mm -hmm. if you're the go-to in your family get you a therapist but also think about you know doing group activity and don't it, you don't even have to be licensed to get folks together to talk and laugh that's at a all. form of therapy you know what i'm saying at all you don't gotta be dev no like the first time we we really like hung we was at the house we dancing you know we talking, talking chilling, like laughing. Mm -hmm. like we all know each other forever yeah, you know right and in that moment regardless of what everybody was going through everybody you know out at least outwardly looked like they had a good time from the littlest kids to mm -hmm. you know the oldest, oldest person there everybody's suffering right now mm -hmm. regardless of race you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like it's, it's it's a lot so you got to find find you a therapist or somebody to talk to find you an activity that you like to do um and craft it get 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 yeah, get good at it i agree you know something i recently like just was random that i started doing i started doing the little glass paintings and little projects mm -hmm. here and there because i love art obviously mm -hmm. i'm not just a makeup artist i like to <laughs> do art as well um, and little projects and so that's like that was an outlet for me that wasn't directly you know connected with makeup mm -hmm. but that I could still just you know take some time and mm -hmm. just do that mm -hmm. um, and get lost in it mm -hmm. to where I don't have to I'm not worried about you know anything else right now just yeah. in the, being in the moment and that's yeah. that's a good segue a lot of times we don't live our lives in the moment mm -hmm. we live for Okay, after she get done with this makeup, she got to go edit. I got to go get Rashad. Mm -hmm. You got to go do A, B, and C. And don't get me wrong, that's life. So don't throw away all your plans. Right. But like she said, when she was painting, if that means taking an hour or two out, that she not answering the phone, she not right. casting, she's just straight up painting. She just deb. Not, you know, not beats, but just, mm -hmm. just deb in her, you know, moment or just to lay shit when I go to the gym in the mornings and I got my book with me. You know what I'm saying? Even mm -hmm. if I'm just sitting on the cycle that's my time and being present in it yeah when, when thoughts come up i'm like i'll worry about it when i get home you know but it takes an active it's not something you, it's gonna just be perfect overnight and it's not gonna be every day every day i, I gotta get up yeah. and try to restart you're right. you know you're right it's, it's not gonna like be every day dang i just said i was gonna do such and such yet mm -hmm. but hey every day we are allowed to wake up and take another breath is another day to get things in order the way you want it to be i had weight loss surgery in september yes. and i you know i was very happy about it i was nervous but you know there was naysayers there was good there was bad but eventually i had to block everybody out yeah you know what i'm saying you got to. and um figure out the real reason i want to do it you know was i was supposed to them? do it was it for me you yeah know, mm -hmm. i was supposed to do it years ago but it just wasn't the right time and then like i said when i had my son i want to be able to get up and run with him and, and do stuff with him yeah. and you know be healthier while while i do it and i'm glad i made that choice now is it for everybody no mm -hmm. and it, i'd be lying if it, I, if i said it wasn't a little vanity in it mm -hmm. if it wasn't that i hated how i look you know walking by the mirror and stuff i hated you know i hated it mm -hmm. but then once before i even got the surgery once i was like okay i may not like this size but i love how this color looks on me mm -hmm. let me find you know outfits like that and let me do my hair mm -hmm. let, me, let me make sure my eyebrows are straight let me get my nails done let me just live and, mm -hmm. and and be me and once i started accepting that i um even now with the surgery i appreciate who i was before mm -hmm. that's awesome you know what i'm saying yeah. like you you have to appreciate because that body that mind everything even when that's i was operating on this right 
And I feel like I'm no longer operating in survival mode. That's what I'm trying to get out of. Mm. I want to I wanna live a lifestyle where I'm thriving. I want my son to thrive. Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean have everything and, and, and not work for nothing. But it mm. means I, my baby really loves music, even at four. Oh, he's um, a musician at heart. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm, dang near a prodigy, right? Like, literally. If he wants to go to band camp... I'm going to try to make sure he's in band camp. If he mm -hmm. wants to, you know, let's say he wants to skip the four year, but he wants to be a music producer or whatever. I want to encourage him to do what oh, it is he, he wants to yeah. do so that he can thrive and not just work. Because when you just work and it's a job you don't want to do, then you're just surviving. You're just trying to make sure you don't get a big, you know. So many, yeah, it you is know? so many people who are just, in survival mode and they hate their life. Hate they hate their job. They, you can tell they hate mm -hmm. their job. And mm -hmm. that, like, you can literally tell. Mm -hmm. And then they wonder why when they come home, they're still miserable. Or when mm -hmm. they, even when they're with family and friends, you're still miserable. Mm -hmm. And it's not just work, but, like, if you're not operating in your purpose, <laughs> and, I, and I'm not saying everybody's going to find it or know what it is, but mm -hmm. if you're not operating in things that make you happy some of the time, mm -hmm. then you're, never, you're just going to be miserable. You are. All, all the time. And, and no matter what you do. No matter what you do. So... I'm choosing to be happy. I'm choosing to get up and make a conscious effort. I'm not saying things are perfect. When when there's some days when I get up and I'm just feeling it. I'm like, right. Talisha, you got 30 minutes to feel this way. Or you, you know, you, you can feel like this today, but tomorrow you're gonna have to figure something else out. Mm -hmm. And getting in that constant mindset of I can't stay stuck. I, I won't stay stuck, you know, mm -hmm. to allow um I want, I want I want to have the best version of me, but I also want my son to have a better version of me. I want my nieces and nephews to have a better version, a, a, a healing one. I don't want to say healed, but a healing one, one that is able to operate out of love and not out of fear. Mm -hmm. And not that, not that operating out of fear means you don't love, but people get a message a little better when you can take the time to meet them where they're at, or you can take the time to understand that I was once 14 and not, you know, just chop my nephew in the throat for saying something. I, I have to, you know, right. think, yeah. let me calm down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't care that you're taller than me. Okay. But, but what's really going on? Because it's right. not how you act. You know what I'm you're saying? Right. Being this able to reframe that. This mm -hmm. isn't who you are. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Sometimes I got to get with him. Sometimes I got to walk. You got to. Sometimes. My forehead be all in his chest. Okay. But it is what it is. <laughs> right. So you know, dumb. he is. Y'all know what we're using. You, you see that? Different. You see that glitter? Okay. Yeah. Glitter. Okay. Coming for days. Look at that. And like Look you said, that. these are the colors we're dipping into. I'm not showing her. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Why can't I do this at home? Watch. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to do this at home. Watch. Oh, yeah. You can definitely. <laughs> I'm like, I wish I didn't have to wash my face until next week. I just want to wear it all week. <laughs> but then I'll oh, be coming back like, uh. So I broke uh, out. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Because so I was trifling thing? all week. <laughs> all week. <laughs> I'm realizing just because I'm a mom doesn't mean that. I can't do fun things, that I can't get dressed up, that I can't ask for help oh, with yeah. my baby, you know? Yeah. I, originally, I was very like, well, I lay down and had him, so I'm not gonna go, or I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do that. But eventually, especially when I got offered to go to uh, Mexico, I was like, okay. Girl, I need a sitter from, okay. girl, I had a Google uh, Google calendar, I had every all the numbers, I had, man. I don't believe it. I was out. You do what you need to do. Do what I needed to do. And it, it's okay. And I guarantee to, he was just fine at that. Just fine. Perfectly fine. I will never forget where I came from. And, and Southern University, Agricultural Mechanical College in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, gotta say the whole name. You got to. Um, they, they made me, like I'm Michigan raised, but like I was oh. Michigan born, but raised in the South. How did they um, treat you out there? Oh, they got me together like the first week, right? <laughs> so 
My grandma, before she passed, we would she would tell us to say yes, ma'am, or no, ma'am, until somebody told us to say different mm -hmm. or yes, sir, no, sir. But you know, other than that, it's pretty lax. Gotcha. Oh yeah, you know they they don't play about that southern hospitality. You expecting them elders? To play. Uh -huh. Girl, so my freshman seminar class. So freshman seminar is just like a, uh, you know, high school, middle school, when they have the advisory class where you go mm -hmm. there for like a little while, you do your basic stuff in there. So it's a whole bunch of this probably at least 100 some people in there. We had an auditorium and this old lady comes, I can't remember her name, but she was old as I don't know what. She had on her Sunday's best, she had on the hat and everything. Yes, okay, hat. And she she asked the question, she asked me a question and I said, yeah. And when I say, y'all ever been somewhere and you can hear everybody's necks and heads turn to look at you? Like, it was like this. Girl, I know they was like, Yeah, it was the creepiest shame. thing. I was like, am I in a scary movie? Is this improv or something? I didn't know what was going on. Am I being punked? That lady lifted her hat a little bit and she said, what'd you say? Mm -hmm, my goodness. And I said, yeah. And everybody, oh, you know, Ain't grabbing no their pearls way. and everything. And I'm Ain't like, no I'm, I'm, okay, I'm like, what is going on? What did I do? <laughs> and she said, it's yes, doctor, whatever her name was, or it's yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, or it is whatever. She gave me like four different things I could say. You said, she said, choose you. one. Ooh. I said, yes, doctor, whatever. She, then she moved on to the next thing. When I tell you, I was, even at McDonald's, I was calling people, sir, ma'am. I and She got me together the first said, week. never again. Never. Wow. And I cried the first two weeks of school because it was so hot. I had never been <laughs> so hot. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and it was so humid. It was like, Ugh. it was the worst. Ew. I can't I can't even lie. It's sticky and just awful. Girl, but after that, I seen this football player. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, we're going to get married. <laughs> and we're going to have a whole bunch of babies and we're going to go to the NFL. So after that, I was crying because I had to come home because I didn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, me and him weren't married and I didn't have a whole bunch of babies and he's not in the NFL. <laughs> I just, you know, it, it just became home. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I felt like that's where I was supposed to be. And like earlier in the video, I said, you got to find your tribe. I found my tribe. All my sweet mates, we still like this to this day, you know. Yeah.
do that. That's going to be a cool, cool glam look. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Wow. Even in just, like, just right now, like, that looks like skin. <laughs> I'm very proud of <laughs> Okay, let's see. I got a call, Greg. He's going to be like, what the heck? This is crazy. I love it. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, that was <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm excited. What? Wow. Okay, here. I'll look, let you look at that video. Oh, part. my <laughs> God. Let me get you a mirror. <laughs> oh, my God, Deb. <laughs> yes, and I don't look crazy. I don't no, look don't. like, you know, it's, oh, my God. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my god. I love it. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Deb. <laughs> Look at them jets. Look at it, okay? Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm literally so geek. Oh, Deb, this is so pretty. I love that. God, I wish I didn't have to wash my face. Oh, not you already Where? blocked it. Oh, yeah. Auntie Jackie is going to be like, wait, what? You got to walk in there and sell and you did your makeup, period. They're going to be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> not, with that, not with that one you put out last week. Ain't you, no ain't, way. you ain't got like that in a couple of days, no. Oh, my mm -mm. gosh. This was so fun. Mm -mm. What the heck? Literally. Yes. That lip is even pretty. On yeah. Her. Their teeth is like, it, it is literally perfect. It just looks like gloss almost on your, like it's very pretty. It really is. Wow. I'm like obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, y'all see her face. She's beat. She's ready to go For to the, the store. Gloss. Yes. And then uh, home. <laughs> I'm going to Target. Okay. Okay. <laughs> enjoyed the video today and enjoy what she does for uh work for if anybody else wants to get in such a line of work like you should do it like she's saying should. like reach out find out some things you can do with that um definitely follow her on instagram what's your social medias that you um, are a little active on uh that ladybug on instagram okay. but it's uh l a the number eight mm -hmm. y B -U -D. I don't know how to spell. I'll it's put it, I'll put it on there for Thank you. you. So y'all know. Yes. Hit her up if y'all like maybe want to talk mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be. Do that. And yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for coming on my channel. Thank today. you. Yes. I was so excited. I love y'all. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how y'all love this look. Where okay. might be over here? Over there. Right. I don't wherever. Know. You know, everybody wherever. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and without further ado, y'all, let's get into these low lights because we just took some videos. Y'all need to see this. Okay. Because yes. it's looking cold. Okay. Love y'all. Yes. Bye.